Welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll recap another Ferris State football playoff victory. We'll also check in with Bulldog women's basketball and Ferris State hockey. Let's we'll start first, though, with Bulldog football, joined by head coach Tony Anise. Coach, welcome back, and congratulations on a, another big playoff win over Northwest Missouri State this past week. Yeah, it's great to be back with an opportunity to continue to play on. One of the uh, only teams in Division II uh, here over the past five years to, to make the playoffs five straight seasons, along with Northwest Missouri, and now one of the uh, only teams, and in fact, the only team to make the national quarterfinals each of the past three years. Yeah, each of the last three years to make it into the final eight. You know, I told the kids last night, uh, you know, there's uh, over 170 Division II teams playing football, and for us to be in the final eight three years in a row, it's uh, something that's of great, great accomplishment. So go to some of the highlights of uh, Saturday's game. Obviously, uh, got up to a great start in that uh, opening uh, quarter of action and a big play on the first offensive uh, play from scrimmage. Yeah, we wanted to be aggressive. Um, you know, we knew we were playing without our starting quarterback, so it's a little gimmick play with uh, Javon Shaw, who's a former quarterback of ours, throwing it to Cy on a, you know, on a, a little gimmick play, a halfback pass, and Cy turns it into uh, almost a touchdown, and Marvin takes it in two plays later for uh, early lead. Got the early uh, advantage here, and then the defense will get the ball back, and the offense able to put up some more points uh, on the second drive as well. Yeah, we want to be aggressive. We feel like our uh, long speed, the big guys are able to get over top on a lot of guys. Here, this is Evan Cummings, who's a redshirt freshman, running it in for our second touchdown and a 14-0 lead. Talk about the play. The three quarterbacks obviously utilized all three quarterbacks uh, here in the win. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's an interesting topic, but uh, people are like, why'd you use three quarterbacks? But um, you know, the challenge is, is is try to, you know, have everybody to know the whole system. So we felt like going in on Tuesday, if, if each of them could learn about 33% of the system, that they could execute their 30% of the offense, and that's what we did. Here, a long field goal from Jackson Dieterle from 45 yards out, and we'll see him make another one uh, here later on in the second quarter. Yeah, yeah, those are big field goals. You know, this team's a powerhouse team, and uh, we knew they'd come back and fight. Um, and so I thought our defense played great. Uh, that's one of the bigger plays they had on us. But uh, we stopped the run. I think they had 31 yards, a total uh, rush offense. And, and that was key. You know, the, the week before they had 350 against uh, Grand Valley. So we were, you know, we were really focused in on stopping the run, and we did a very good job at it. Travis Russell, the long throw right there. Devontae Harrington able to hold on. Leads to another field goal. And you had a 20 to nothing lead at this stage. But obviously, Northwest Missouri State, a longtime power in Division II, will come back and get their first score. Yeah, I thought this score right before half was key to, to having, you know, give them some momentum at halftime. We were hoping to hold them out of there and keep a 20 nothing lead going to half. But they had a great, patient drive and scored. And uh, this is the last play of the half where Deion Earls does what Deion Earls does. And that means run all over the place. and make plays, but uh, it is the last play of the half. 20-7 to seven lead at halftime, and they'll have a, a big break uh, here early on in the third quarter. Uh, unfortunate break uh, for your team uh, where uh, they were able to intercept the pass and take it back. Yeah, you know, uh, it's an interesting situation because, you know, they scored right before uh, the half ended, and then they have an early turnover here in the third quarter right here where they make a great play on the ball, and uh, all of a sudden it's 20-14, to 14 and... Uh, I thought then our kids really were composed and, and you know, my biggest concern playing three quarterbacks is can all three of them be that composed, but here, you know, Brett Mooney takes the ball and, and throws it out there to Deion Earls and, and that was a big play. So, you know, we never wavered and I said that to our kids, we never wavered, we kept on playing hard and, and uh, you know, had belief that the, the three quarterback system could work. Obviously three quarterbacks, uh, you've used three tailbacks all year long and all three of those guys did a great yeah, job. Yeah, they, they were all great too, Keandre had a great game as well. but. Uh, yeah, the three running backs, uh, Robert Thomas and Derek Portis and uh, Marvin Campbell were all great, and so we've used them all year, and, and they've been unselfish and be able to do uh, their one-third of it. Travis Russell able to give you the 27-14 lead, and then he breaks uh, one right here and had a couple opportunities uh, here in the fourth quarter to add some more points. Yeah, we did. We kind of failed in that uh, quest. To, uh, you know, here's another uh, interception by DeLon Stevenson, but failed in the quest to score and, and put up uh, kind of that secure score that that put them out of reach, and then here they come with 30 seconds to go, complete a long pass, and and two plays later they score, get the onside kick, and fortunately coming up uh, we sack their quarterback on the last play of the game, and and uh, we're victorious and get to move on. Obviously a big play here to end the game as the defense uh, holds on. You get the 27-21 win, and now into the national quarterfinals here for the third straight year, and a, another tough opponent on the road this week in Washington Baptist. 
Yeah, we uh, we played them last year in the first round, and uh, we we are on the road, and uh, so I think we're excited about going on the road. We'll see how that goes, but it's going to be a little bit warmer, and and uh, we've been we've been home now four out of the last uh, five games. So sometimes mixing it up is good, um, but it was great to be at, at Top Tagger Saturday. We actually had even you know some Grand Valley fans that came and supported us with Ferris gear, and and so it was good to see uh, you know West Michigan coming together and supporting. Uh, the Bulldogs, but uh, now we're on the road. Another tough opponent this week. Uh, what do you know about the Tigers? And obviously they're coming off a, a big win over Indianapolis. Yeah, they're the number one scoring defense in the nation. I keep on saying that. I feel like we're playing these number one defenses in the nation. But, uh, yeah, they, they shut out Indy pretty good. Um, you know, they, they, they're great handling the ball. So they're, uh, you know, leading, leading uh, na the nation in, in uh, turnover uh, margin or ratio. So they take care of their ball well, create turnovers, and then they're a really good special team squad as well. Um, adding to that, obviously their offense is pretty diverse and able to do some good things. So um, they're a powerhouse. They've done very, very well, undefeated, number one seed. So this time of year, everyone's great, and you just got to play your best in order to move on. Obviously, uh, along with moving on to the national quarterfinals, your team uh, now 13-0 and and a school record. Uh, just talk about those 13 wins and, and what that means. Yeah, 13 wins, school record. I always tell our guys, you know, Ferris has existed since 1896 here. So, so records, uh, I think, are pretty significant because, uh, um, you know, those records have been around a long time. So 13 wins, and, and that's a great graphic as far as what we've achieved statistically. And, and uh you know, going back in time when we first sat down, maybe the first uh, first show, you know, I was crying about an inexperienced defense and uh, graduating a ton of seniors. It was the biggest class we've graduated the year before. And so for us to play at the level we've played and, and fight through some of the circumstances we fought through, and it's just a credit to our young men. I just keep on coming back to the word gritty, but we are a gritty bunch. They never waver. They're always working. Uh, um, regardless of the score, um, regardless of anything they're facing, um, you know, they persevere and fight through things and, and uh, you know, can, can win 13 games. So very proud of our young men and our coaching staff. What will it take uh, this Saturday to go into Arkadelphia, Arkansas and, and come back with a victory and move on to the semifinal? Well, it's the same thing, you know, uh, just got to stay focused on the task at hand, be gritty, um, you know, do the things we need to do. Uh, Quarterback-wise, uh, shall be interesting. We don't know what, what that situation's going to uh, be, but, but our offensive line's black and gray. Our receivers are, are really productive. Our running backs are solid. So on that side of the ball, great. And then defensively, you know, we've been able to stop the run, and we're not giving up big plays like we did earlier in the season. And so, uh, you know, I think we're playing at, at the, the highest of our game, and so hopefully uh, Saturday we just go out and do who, you know, be who we are and, do the things we need to do to be, you know, successful and get to to the final four. Well, coach, congratulations again on the big win. Uh, best of luck, safe travels to Arkadelphia, Arkansas this weekend. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks, Rob. Kickoff Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern time from Arkansas against Washington Baptist. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports update right after this.